Hello everybody, this is Mike. Welcome to my channel, Mike the Tech Savvy. I've seen that the Samsung Galaxy S4 video has had some success, therefore I decided to do a follow-up video. And I'm gonna show you today how to install and run the latest Android 7.1.2 version on this 4-year-old flagship. On my device, it's already installed. But I'll give you a quick overview of the installation process as well. And afterwards I'll make a short review of it with pros and cons. Let me show you how to install it very easily. I'll reboot into recovery. So first of all you need to install a custom recovery. Only TWRP works. So Team Win Recovery Project works perfectly with this custom ROM. I have copied all the necessary links in the description below. This is the second stable version of this optimized Lineage OS custom ROM. So as you can see, I have the latest Team Win Recovery version here, 3.1.0. So you first need to install this custom recovery, then download the custom ROM on your phone and afterwards just factory reset your current ROM and then install the optimized Lineage OS 14.1. As you can see I have here the second stable version. It was finalized a few days ago. This version also has the Aroma installer, so you'll get quite a few options, so you can customize the ROM the way you want it. I've already done this, but it's a really easy process. You do not need any programming knowledge or such, you just have to select an option and then click next, so it's basically a really user-friendly installer. I'll restart the device. And now it booted up. We're on airplane mode because I've done some tests with it. And as you can see here, I've selected from the Aroma installer all the launchers. So you can have the Trebuchet, this is a very light launcher. can have the Google Now Launcher or yes the Pixel Launcher this allows you a fair amount of customizability just before installing anything so right out of the box it doesn't come pre-installed with a lot of things all the Google Apps that you see here have been installed by me because as a stock install you won't get any Google Apps not even Google Play services in order to do that you have to install from recovery an OpenGFs package I'll list all the links in the description below so you can have a very light installation such as the Open GApps Pico or Nano and you'll get all the essential apps such as the Google Play Framework and the Google Play Store or you can opt for a more comprehensive install which adds some other apps such as Hangouts, Google Maps, YouTube, Google Now and so forth. Now let's get to the review of this ROM.
we have Android 7.1.2 and the latest security patch. So 5th of April 2017. As you can see the phone is really really smooth. I haven't had any issues since I installed it. The network works just fine. I have been using it as a Wi-Fi hotspot for some time and it works perfectly. I've installed a couple of benchmark softwares as well. Even though you know my opinion, they do not actually mean anything. But still, just to give you an idea on how optimized this custom ROM is for this device. So, in Antutu, I've obtained a score of just below 40,000 in the latest stock ROM, of which I have a video on my channel as well. I've obtained something like a thousand more, so it's not that big of a difference. And I have also have Geekbench with the following scores. 742 single core and 1727 multi core plus the compute score of 1609. Now, as a general overview, I can tell you that this ROM really looks like a good daily driver, I might say. I'm not sure of the battery life, it's probably a bit worse than on the stock ROM, but this is all this is to be expected, but not by much. So, the extra features that a brand new the bloated ROM brings you, I believe they overcome this minor setback. All the apps are working just just as they should. The cameras, you have two camera apps, they both work fine. Settings looks well, normal, nothing special here. Memory, I believe it's really really good what we see here. So we have right about one gigabyte of free memory as an average in the last three hours. This is really good I believe. You have some optimized Lineage OS settings here. I'd like to give my sincere thanks to all the developers who have contributed to this ROM. I really believe they've done a fantastic job and I'm looking forward to the next builds. We can open SPX directly from here after we grant it the super user rights. You can get the latest Super SU flashable package, the latest snap camera, cool pixel launcher and so forth. These are all normal Android settings, I won't go through them, but I can assure you that they work just fine. It comes directly with the animation set at 0.5x, so that's, that's a good thing, you won't have to fiddle with that later on. If someone would have asked me if we would get a stable 7.1.2 ROM on the S4, I'm not sure I would have said yes, but here we have it, and I'm really glad we do. This only increases the lifetime of this fantastic device, the S4. I really believe it's a, it's a cool device even for today's standards and I really hope I, I'll share in the future more videos about it with you guys. As always, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, please not forget to press the like button and 
If you'd like to stay tuned to my future content, press the subscribe button as well. Thank you very much to the developers of this ROM for creating it and for sharing it with everybody. All the necessary links are listed in the description below, so you can start off right away. I wish you a great day. This was Mike the Tech Savvy. Until next time. Bye.